Hi, this is Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. and watch how I create this vintage look you're seeing in these pictures from an old TV cabinet. I'm going to be turning it into a coffee bar and creating this textured vintage looking style. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. Here is a big um, it used to be a TV cabinet and I'm going to turn it into something different. So I've already put one coat of the dark charcoal paint that I always put on, one coat of clear coat and then two coats of the white linen chalk paint. Now bear in mind I always do two and a half coats because as you can see there's parts that need touch up. But I'm going to do the wet distress actually before I do the touch up because it's going to have quite some different wet distress on this and I'm going to um, do the touch up after I've wet distressed. So let's go ahead and do some wet distressing. Okay, I'm going to bring you down because on the wet distressing on this piece it's going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. I have a warm, wet this is a, a face cloth. You can use any kind of lint-free cloth. Um, the harder texture, the easier. So I've got it nice and warm. I like it warm because then it's easier on my hands. Cold water just would hurt my hands. And I'm going to start from the bottom up. So I'm going to kind of wiggle around, getting some of it up, and then going in an upward direction. And keep going up. Now I'm going to be going in this direction for the whole thing. So just keep wiggling around and going up. I don't, I'm going to be doing mostly in the corners, detail, crevices, but I want to go in an upward direction. And then go along the bottom and then up. Keep going along the edges here and up. Find a clean piece of your rag and go upwards. As far as you can go until it gets white and then find a clean piece. And it's white again. So just find a clean piece and go up. Go along the bottom here, wiggle it around to get the movement and go up. Wiggle around again, get the movement going and go up. I'm going upwards in the areas that are the crevices more than the middle so it looks natural and I'm just going to keep going in an upward way so that it's all going to be heavy texture on the bottom and not as heavy on the top I'm just going to keep going upwards and I'm going to be doing the same on the drawers. I'll show you here a little bit. I've already put the drawers in, so I'm just going to go upwards with them. Get a clean bit of rag and go up. Move it around a bit and go up. And just keep going along. Now it's worn through a little bit to the wood. I might keep that. I might not. We'll see. I'm liking it right now. But I'll look at it when I finish the whole thing to see if I still like it or if I want it to be uh, covered up. If you want it to be covered up, you just go back in with the charcoal grey and just use a small little brush and just paint it in. If you want it to look the wood through, then that's fine too. So I'm going to keep going doing this and going, as I say, in an upward motion. And I've got this whole piece to finish, so that's going to take me a little while. Alright, so I have got all the wet distressing done. It is mostly 
as you can see I'll try and bring you down in the bottom part of the uh, cabinet um, because we're going to do something a little different at the top here so I'm going to try and figure out showing you how to do the next step the product we're going to use sorry it's so loud I've got kids playing outside because it's a beautiful day so bear with me on that but this is what I'm going to be using it's an aged glaze so the glaze is water based so when I finish doing all the glaze I'm happy with the final product then I'll do um, a clear coat over the whole thing. But right now I'm going to be using this clear, this aged glaze. And I'm going to be mostly putting it on the top. Now I'm going to use a dollar store, it's a dollar store stencil brush is what I'm going to use. Because I want to use a dabbing motion. I've got a little bit left in this can, so I'm going to use that. But I want it to go just in the edges and I'm going to stipple it on just in the corners and the edges and I'm hoping it will run down a little too but if it doesn't I will be making sure it does so I'm going to work on little areas at a time and what I have is I've got a dry cloth and a wet cloth and with the dry cloth first, I'm going to be pulling down. Not in any particular way, just through the whole thing. If I'm finding it's not pulling away enough, I'll use the wet one. I'm just getting that crevice there, pulling it down. And I'm just doing this on the top. A little bit more in as the corners and edges I want to be darker than the rest so again with the dry cloth I'm going to be pulling all the way down and if we went up with the uh, when we were doing the uh, wet distressing now we're going down so I'm going to go in with a wet cloth just a little and just break it up a little so I'm just dabbing and then pull again pull again And just keep going until you've got the look you want. You don't want it to look muddy brown. What you want it to look is aged. So just keep working at it in the corners, getting it how you want it, and then make sure you go in with the wet one just in the middle to get it back to white, because you don't want it to look muddy brown. We're going to do some more along. We'll do the other. I always do the corners first because this is going to be the strongest, thickest areas. So always do the corners first. And corners being each of these corners and each of these. We're not doing the bottom. We've already done the bottom using the dry cloth pull down. Use your nails if you have them to get into the crevices and just run it along. And then with the wet cloth, just dab a little to break it up. And then the dry one again, pull down. Again, you don't want it to look brown. You want it to look white, but you want it to be aged looking. But always in a downward motion when you're doing it. Just got get in here. I do this down. There we go. And I'm just going to get this. 
this really worked, as I say, because the product is water-based, you can play with it, you know? You've got time to play with it. And it won't be fully in there until you've literally put your clear coat on the top. So this is what we're gonna be doing everywhere. Let's do just the next little bit and then I'll be doing the whole thing. Just step you back just a little bit more so you can see. So I'm using literally a dollar store stencil brush, nothing expensive, just dabbing on the glaze into the corners. As thick as you can get it in the corners, but they're only in the corners. And the product, the glaze, I got, you can get it from Walmart. I know I've seen it there. Um, and you can get it from Home Depot. I presume you can get it from Lowe's, but I'm not sure. I haven't gotten it from there. And then go back in and just break it up a little. Making sure it's still white. You don't want it looking muddy. Break it up. Sorry, there's lots of kids outside. It's one of the reasons, I love kids, I do. But when I'm trying to do a video, it's one of the reasons I kind of didn't want this rental place because unfortunately, I'm gonna get kids throughout the summer in noise in my videos and that may be irritating to you guys. I love the sound of kids playing, especially in summer, happy when they've got water splashing, but you may not like that. So I'm gonna bring you in closer. That's the look we're going for. When you completely finish with the whole thing, as I say, I'm going to do a clear coat on the whole outside. And then I will show you in some images and video the outside and then we will work on the inside. The outside part now is done. The wet distress and the aging. I don't want too much, but I wanted a little. I have put uh, black on the handles. Um, it's a flat black, so I will be putting those on after. I'll bring you in closer to see some of the detailing here. As I said, I don't want it to look brown. I just want it to look aged. So the aging was at the top and the wet distressing I pulled up from the bottom. I did put, however, a tiny little bit of aging into some of the edges at the bottom. So the outside now is done and I can now start working on the inside of this piece. It's going to be turned into a coffee bar. So it's going to have lots of different things happening inside, so that will be on part two. I hope you're liking this video of this transformation of an old TV stand turned into coffee bar. If you're enjoying this, please subscribe, thumbs up and tell all your friends. Thanks for watching. This is Rustic Cottage Co. I'm Julie and stay tuned for part two of this piece as I want to do the inside and uh, get the coffee bar going. I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and uh, thumbs up. Thank you.